Hey guys, Angler2222 here. Welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. In the last part, well, we found out we still have more to do. Sad face. Oh, I can't believe I actually just said sad face. In this part, well, we'll really finish the story. This email states... It's an email I got off screen. It says that the very last shadow Pokemon to find is a Togetic. Where could it possibly be? Let's go right back to where this all started. No, not Snagamide out. Outskirt stand. Well, I think I still might have some more traveling around to do because. I don't think I've gotten an email yet that says where he is, because I'm pretty sure I need to get an email like that first? Or, I don't know. So, I guess I'll go in, see what's up. I wish a good piece of news would come. Wow. Like, this is really weird. There's a guy that should be there, considering I've snagged everything. Guess I'll just keep driving around, because I think I might need to get an email from somewhere. This little laps will go back here. Or better yet, how about I do the smart thing? I think I might need to go talk to Ned or something about this. Either way, at least this will be, well, a somewhat longer part because it would literally be done in like two minutes if. Well, the guy actually showed up right where he was supposed to. So yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Ned because, well, you had to talk to him to find out certain stuff earlier. Like, if you talked to him and fought some guys, yet, like, basically, if you fought some guys before you talked to him about stuff, yeah, nothing would happen, even if they would be get, able to give you information. I've done it? What have I done? You're so inspiring. So I guess Net had absolutely nothing useful to say. Other than, you did it! Also, I don't want to talk like I've already defeated Cypher yet. Technically... Yeah, they're still at the Relgome Tower. I mean, this isn't like some other games which force you into an epilogue. So, yeah, I'll just board the forward disc again and I... Really do not know why this is. Because I have snagged absolutely every shadow Pokemon you can up to this point. Then again, I guess I haven't gotten all the emails, and maybe I should do the smart thing and rather than go to net because I need to hear something more than you did it! I'll go to Fennec City. Find out some stuff there. Let's see what Dash has to say about that guy. I don't even know what I just talked to. Is that a Wingull or... Let's see. I want him to get back here. Hey, I just want to find out if you attacked me or not. Wait. Whatever. I'll just go around and talk to him again. See if he has anything more to say. So he won't talk to me. 
maybe after talking to him, I might actually be able to, well... Wow! I love how different their opinions are! He's just, hey, I hate you! Her, you're my hero! Really? And now we have another email after talking to that guy. Let's see what it says. Who is this? Who is who? Wow. So I guess there's footage of us attacking. People. So, I guess we'll, well, go back to the under again, talk the bit since, well, now we actually have some more info. But yeah, so much for the guy, so much being there. This is Pokemon Coliseum, where you have to do a thousand pointless side quests just to get some guy to show up. Again, this game is as weird as to make so make it so certain trainers will not appear if you don't read an email, even if you already have the email. So I guess I'll go talk to Bit for more info, and I guess I'll finally be taking out my phony. I know it wasn't you. I believe in you. If Ned will have anything more to say than you did it, even though he probably won't. Wow. So I guess I love how inconsistent the NPCs' reactions are. Like some of them are just, "Hey, we ate you, go die." Where people are just, "Yeah." So I guess that's all we're gonna get from Bid. I guess I'll try going back to outskirts stand again to see if that guy will show up. Yeah, I'm sorry this is turning out to be way longer than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be short and sweet of the guy just being there, but I guess not. Instead, I have to go around talking to everybody who might have some sort of information on who the phony is. So now I'll be going to, well, Outskirts Stand again. See if that does anything. And sure enough, we get a new email. Watch TV! So I guess I'll go to the cabin and, like, not the cabin, go inside the train. Watch TV, according to Nat! Watch TV, does Ray really only have one TV channel? That's interesting. Why does the Togetic have an... Why does the Togetic have an aura? And by a brat in the under... Calling him a brat all because you don't know who he is? That's mean. And I don't need to see this. So, I watched TV. Do I go talk to Ned again, or what? So, I guess I'll go talk to Ned again. Because he'll probably finally say something that isn't, You done it! Or whatever. So yeah, I'll go back on the UFO disc, go to the kids' grid's house or whatever. I will never get over that though. A Brad from the under, and why is the aura there? I thought only Re could see auras, yet... Can cameras just capture auras or something? Yeah, exactly. 
So yeah, it just says the same thing again. I love when they're all so trusting to an ex-criminal though, I mean... Dude, he used to steal Pokemon and enjoy it! Or not enjoy it, for all we know. Either way, he used to steal Pokemon. Why be indifferent to it now, I don't know, but... Yeah. So I guess I'll go back into the Coliseum and take the other entrance out. Go back to outskirts stand and see if I finally get the email I need. So, yeah, I'll head back to outskirts stand again. And I get another email. Live TV news? Oh, wait. So I have to go watch TV again? Really? Also, once again, I love how he's basically seen where Ray only has one channel. Viewer discretion is advised? Hey, wait a sec. He just fought Willy? What? I guess he'll probably be right outside. Ansha? Wow, this is hilarious. Wait, I don't get it. The battle with Willy was going on right outside, yet he wasn't there until we... Was he using a cloaking device? But even then, that wouldn't make sense, because they somehow saw him before you came back. You know what? I'm done making fun of this. I have to actually finish this. Let's go talk to this weirdo who looks exactly like us. So yeah, shady guy, hooray, the only other character who has lowercase letters in their name. So yeah, as far as how this guy fights, well, I believe his level average is higher than Agnol's, I don't know, but anyway, his Pokemon are all level 68 minus Togetic, Togetic which is amusing level 20. So now I'll... Well, I'll just take advantage of, well, what I'm given here and just snag to get it. And why am I in such trouble finding my Master Ball? And then we'll swap the items around. I don't know why, because Togetic is the last Shadow Pokemon you will encounter. So we'll just Thunder Armal. Ah, Armaldo. Why can I not speak? And there we go, we have every Shadow Pokémon in the game! Now he sends on to my Lodic. They're annoying because I have an ability called Marble Scale, which, well... You would hit your own Pokémon! That's not surprising. But do you have to be such a jerk? Whatever, I'll sit in wheezing. This'll be fun. And by fun, I mean... I'll totally own their team of Earthquake, because, well... Weezing can use Earth... Well, no, Weezing is immune to Earthquake. Actually, both the Pokémon on my side are immune to Earthquake. Which means it'll be fun if Omaldo tries to Earthquake me again. So yeah, I'll sludge by my Lodic to take it out. And Weezy leveled up to level 68. So now he sends out a Manectric. And of course it misses Weezy. So I guess I'll just spam Earthquake because, well... 
Weezing doesn't take any damage from Earthquake. Ah. And that KO's Manetric. Not that I'd add any doubt it would. And, yeah, that was a really long, awkward pause. Hooray for that. Even then, I'm pretty sure I was wrong there, but meh. Who cares? Either way, our Baldo's down. So, I'm not really good against anything here, and I can't abuse Earthquake as well because Gyarados can levitate. So we'll sludge bomb Gyarados. Of course, that gets a 1 KO on Houndoom because Houndoom is really frail. Of course, it does absolutely nothing to Gyarados. And Flygon levels up. No, no Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is not a very good move. Why is it not good? It might do tons of damage, sure, but... The recharge turn is very bad. I mean, I guess it's good on slacking. We'd have to wait the extra turn anyway unless we were gonna switch it out, but... Yeah, it's worth on pretty much anything that... Why am I earthquaking? I'm gonna Dragon Claw, because that's the only thing I have that'll actually do good damage to Gyarados. Whatever. As a whole, this battle is really easy. I mean... Edis was really hard for some reason, I don't know why. But this guy is pathetic. Same with Agnol, really. And that, well... Obviously doesn't KO. So I guess I'll just use some last attacks and it'll be down. And there we have it! The end of the story mode! Yup, this is really the end. Wow! So the final boss was a Cypher Peon! This is pretty sad. It's a huge break in the story. Now let's try talking to the runner guy just to see what he has to say. Well, when he finds out it wasn't us... I'll run around the fountain until you tell me to stop! Which basically means forever. So yeah, that is the end of the story mode. We have caught every Shadow Pokemon possible. Next part, I'll start Mount Battle since I'm going for Ho-Oh and, well... Basically, in order to go for Ho-Oh, you have to have all 48 Shadow Pokemon purified, which I'm pretty close to doing. And you have to beat Mount Battle in Battle Mode. After that, Ho-Oh will get sent to your PC or whatever. So yeah. This is the end of story mode, stay tuned for Mount Battle stuff. Goodbye!